if I connected the microphone. There you go. Now you can hear me. We're here. National Play Doh Day coming up. I talked to you for two minutes and nobody could hear me because I forgot to turn the mic back on. This is what happens when you have to reboot your computer because it's the only one not connecting to the internet. Anyway, welcome to a toy-themed edition of Daily Trivia Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. Make a play date with your brains as you go after today's grand prize. That's $1,000, my friends. And when you correctly answer 10 multiple-choice trivia questions about toys, what else? You'll win your share of it. Yeah. In this game, you'll also earn one bonus SB for every question you get right after question number one, even if you've already been eliminated. If you win the game, they are automatically added to your share of that grand prize, all the ones that you accumulate throughout the game. Otherwise, though, if you don't win the grand prize, you will have to claim the bonus SB you've earned at the end of the game in order to keep them. You stick around to the end either way to get something. You just click the claim button or you get them automatically along with your share of the grand prize for winning. Here's another bit of tidbit, a little tip for you. The first time you get a question wrong, as long as it's before question number 10, you can rejoin to get another shot at the grand prize, either using SB or with a free rejoin. Two ways to do it. If you don't have free rejoins or if you want more and who doesn't, click the plus sign in the top left-hand corner of the main menu anytime a game's not happening and get free rejoins by watching videos. Finally, each game we give away five, count them five, 100 SB prizes to five players who win and claim at least one SB in the game. Here are the winners from Thursday, all of whom have been credited. Congratulations to the five of you. We're going to pick five more at the end of this game. And if you want to be one of them, you want the chance, you know what I'm going to tell you. Keep playing and claiming because next time the winner could be you. Always stick around until the end, my friends. All right, folks, I made you wait long enough. So let's get this game started right now. Here is question number one, which of the following toys is a version of modeling clay? Is it Connects, Wuzzles, or Play-Doh? Follow us on Twitter. You'd have this in the bag. Originally conceived as a wallpaper cleaner back in the 1930s, the company figured out they had a better toy than a cleaner, and everyone's favorite, Play-Doh was born. Play-Doh is the answer. What a fun factory we're having here today. 99% of you getting that one right. Well done. Starting us off with over 16,500 people in grand prize contention. And with over 17,300 concurrent players here with us. And that number's just going to go up because people are going to rejoin. They're going to come in a little late and rejoin. And I'm happy to have them. And I'm also happy to tell you that every question you get right from here on in gets you one bonus SB. Let's dig into that right now with question number two. What year was the Lego Group founded? Is it 1124, 1932, or 2021? What year was the Lego Group founded that brought us Lego? From the Danish for Let's Play, founder Ole Kirk Christensen created a playtime institution that has also remained a family-owned business since it was founded back in 1932. That's right, 1932 is the answer. 1124, a little too early. 2021, way too late. 1932, just right. And of the 7% of you that did not get that one, pretty much all of you rejoining, that is what we like to see. You picking yourself up, dusting yourself off, and jumping back into the fray to play for that $1,000 grand prize. We're moving on to question number three now, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Where was Barbie's fictional dream house located? Was it in Malibu, Destin, or Prince Edward Island? It's in the name of the playset. The blank dream house. Barbie inspires children with the message that they can be anything including a doctor, a disco star, and the owner of prime beachfront property in Malibu, of course. Malibu, California is what I was looking for. 98% of you getting that one right. Well done. These are the toys that we all know. I love that we have this shared knowledge. When we have shared knowledge, we have connection, and that's a start. That ain't nothing, folks. Let's move on to question number four, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. What toy brand is called a real American hero? Is it Mask, G.I. Joe, or Centurions? Yeah, I sang for you. Who has a problem with that? I don't want to hear it. I'm not looking at the comments anyway. Originally a series of 12-inch figures representing the different branches of the U.S. military, in 1982, the entire G.I. Joe line was rebranded and became a runaway hit. 
That's right, G.I. Joe, real American hero. G.I. Joe is there. And 99% of you were there. You got that one right. We're moving on to question number five, worth one bonus SP if you get it right. Which of the following brands manufactures toys for the early stages of children's lives? Is it Barbie, BattleBots, or Fisher-Price? Targeting those early development stages of childhood. The toys are big, colorful, generally safe, and make an interesting sounds as they help us learn shapes, basic concepts, and can even help you read an analog clock. Thank you, Fisher Price. Thank you. The little wind-up toy you heard in the lobby, that was the Fisher Price clock that I had as a kid. I still find that song very calming. If it sounded familiar to you, then I'm glad we have that in common. You know what else we have in common? We've all made it halfway through this game. Moving on to question number six, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. According to the toys jingle, what walks downstairs alone or in pairs? Is it Slinky, Silly Putty, or Polly Pocket? What walks downstairs alone or in pairs? A little more singing for you on Monday. It's a singing Monday. Those of you who are old enough to have grown up with corded telephones, remember how those cords would get those kinks in them, right? Well, once the same thing happened to your slinky, that thing was done. That was goodbye to the slinky. Slinky is the answer. Everyone loves the slinky. 98% of you getting that one right. I gave you the end of the jingle. I know what you need. I know what you want. You want the slinky jingle. You got it. You also want question number seven and another bonus SB. We'll just get this one right. Here it is. Question number seven. In 1978, Kenner Toys had a smash hit with the toy license for what film franchise? Is it Star Trek, Mission Impossible, or Star Wars? I have a very large collection of these toys. It's still in their packaging. I've shown it before. Movie tie-in merchandise had never been lucrative when George Lucas secured the rights in his deal with 20th Century Fox, but the money from those Star Wars toys and merchandise helped fund the next two movies. That's how much he made, and he got to keep all of it. Star Wars is the answer. 74% of you getting that one right. Mego had a Star Trek line, and then later Galoob had a Star Trek line. So uh, no Kenner Star Trek toys, unfortunately. That was the toughest one. We've had 26% of you getting eliminated, but over three quarters of those people coming back in. Still over 15,000 people in grand prize contention as we move on to question number eight. Worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Dwork, Vlob, and Drool were the original lineup of which toy line? Is it Mad Balls, Boglins, or Creepy Crawlers? Little 90s, 80s toys for you. Do you remember these? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Designed by a Jim Henson veteran and marketed as weird, invasive monsters who would scare your family, Boglins have become a collector's item since the 90s. Boglins is the answer. They came in those cardboard cages with the plastic fronts. Oh, that was a tough one. Only 32% of you getting that one right. Your glow in the eyes, uh, glow in the dark eyes darted to the correct answer, just like the Boglins had. And of the 68% of you who got eliminated, already over 70% of you coming right back in. Yes, they were those little, uh, they were little and also medium-sized sort of rubber puppets that you would get. They would cut, you'd keep them in the box, you would use them to scare, I had like a bunch of them as a kid. They sold them, they came back again a couple of years ago, Mattel put them back out because now uh, toys are, are just for adults. Let's move on to question number nine. It's our second to last question. It's worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is, question number nine. Which of the following is a brand of toy wagons for kids? Is it Radio Flyer, Radio Swimmer, or Radio Hiker? Radio, Radio. Even as toys have evolved, loaded up with technology and gadgets to reflect the modern world, you can still delight a child with that classic red Radio Flyer wagon. Radio Flyer is the answer. 11,436 of you knew that answer, and you are ready for our final question. But first, did you know that there are two ways to get SB from Swagbucks Daily Trivia outside of our live games? It's true. One of them is through the Daily Trivia Challenge. Yeah, what's the Daily Trivia Challenge, you ask? I'll tell you, it is the hostless version of our game. Very quick to play. You can do it on your own schedule up to twice per day, every day. Second, of course, is by clicking that more ways to earn button wherever you find it in the app. Now, both of them get you SB towards your daily goal, and that is wonderful. But if you click that more ways to earn button, that's what gets you to tap joy, the wall to end all walls. The great wall that is not in China is the tap joy wall. 
That wall has a bunch of quick, easy to complete offers that will help you check daily discover off of your to-do list in minutes. You'll rack up SB while having fun. You won't even realize how much you're getting because it'll just add up and add up and add up and add up and add up. And this is something that you can do every single day. You don't have to wait for a live game to do this. So after the game, you will see the little tap joy image appear on the screen after you've claimed your SB or been congratulated for winning or whatever. I want you to click that box. It'll pop you out, ask if you want to come back in. You say, yes, of course I do. And that will take you to the Tab Joy wall where you can start earning right away. Build winning habits, people. That is all I want for you. Build winning habits. I'm giving you the playbook. Please use it. Speaking of which, I see 11,591 people who have drawn this playbook up to perfection. They are still in contention for a piece of that $1,000 grand prize. Over 17,750 of you have stuck around to the end, and there is one more bonus SB up for grabs. If you can correctly answer question number 10, here it is. In the Transformers toy line, what truck slash robot is the leader of the Autobots? Is it Megatron, Wheeljack, or Optimus Prime? Who is it? Sham Witwicky. The plot of the Transformers and its cartoon and comic book line existed just to sell toys. I'm sorry to burst the bubble there. But now, characters like Optimus Prime have decades of lore to flesh them out. Optimus Prime was the answer. Prime! 9,133 of you knew that answer, and you are splitting our grand prize today. Well done. Each of our grand prize winners taking home 11 SB in grand prize money, plus the bonuses you earned along the way. Bar Morgan Zero, you are a winner. Sherberg 45, you are a winner. Barbara Manatee, you are a winner. Marilyn's Crafty CR, Jean Bean 50, R. Chadwell 16, and Let Me Cook. I did let you cook, and you cooked up a win for yourself. Congratulations to all of you who won the grand prize today, and to those of you who earned a bonus SB or two along the way and claimed it. I saw somebody say it's their birthday. Happy birthday to you. So glad you were all here. Well done. You did a great job today. We'll see you tomorrow for our Tuesday game. Thank you for playing Daily Trivia Live, and we will see you then, my friends.